Okay, so today we're going to talk about the RP, the Reduced Pressure Principle, Backflow Prevention Assembly. And um, this is a Wilkins 375XL 2 inch. So this is their new model. This is, um, has a plastic insert here, which has our check valves and our module. So it has brass bracketing. So that it, it's, it's pretty neat. What we could do is take it out, pull it out, take it back to my truck, open it up, clean it, fix it, and everything like that. So I'm just going to be talking about this one. So this is that's a normal um, RP. Okay. So a couple things about the RP, right? So again, this is a backflow prevention assembly, right? So the term backflow, um, the, the way we're going to use it, it's the undesirable reversal in the flow of water. Right. So just water coming back, right? So in this example here, I have my meter here, right? So this is my city water. I go through and then I go to consumer side. In our case, irrigation. We're going to use irrigation because we're irrigation class, right? So this will protect the water from going from our irrigation back, right? And we want that, right? Um, according to the EPA, the Environmental Protection Agency, uh, irrigation systems are a high hazard, right? So we consider that a health hazard, right? I'm going to write that up here. So I'm going to title this RP, right? So high hazard. Okay, so irrigation is a high hazard, so the RP will protect against anything, right? There's only two types of connections that we can't connect to. Those are called a lethal connection, raw sewage, right, and radioactive water, okay? So those two things we don't want to hook our water up to no matter what. Other than those two connections, the RP can protect against anything. So, I talked a little bit about that there's four types of backflows. So, so you, people always ask me, like, okay, if there, why is there four types? If, if the RP is as great as you say it is, right, if the RP is the best, why, doesn't we, why don't we only use RPs, right? It's a good question. I had that same question when I was learning this. And the answer is, you know, we all know this has a discharge, water comes out, right? Mm -hmm. Right? So would I want that indoors? Inside? Mm -hmm. Not really, right? The, to bring it to code, so if we have a code, you actually have to have a drain, have it plumb so that if it discharges, a drain will take the water out, right? Another thing is these have to be above ground. They have to be 12 to 36 inches above grade and so above grade is just um, what we're talking about finished grade so wherever the level of the land is and again that one foot is not from the line here from our piping it's from the discharge so it's from here because we don't want it to be in standing water So now we already know it's a high hazard, low hazard, you know, so it has to protect against both. It can be one foot to three feet clearance we need for this relief valve. Okay. How many? Two or three? One to three. So 12 inches to 36 inches. Right? Okay, so another thing that this RP really does, which is why it protects 
you know, that's the highest level of protection. It protects against back pressure. Back pressure and back siphon. Okay. So those are actually the two ways. Those are the two ways that we can actually get the water to go backwards, reverse. Back siphon. The same way. It's going to turn, take the water. So I'm going to break down the two types. Okay, so since I have this in front of me, right? So which way is the water going? This way, right? We see there's an arrow here, but we know the meter here. So um, just to clarify some of the components names, which will help us identify the way the water goes, these are the test cocks, right? There's four of them one, two, three, four. These are only here so I can certify it and test it, right? The number one is always on the number one shutoff valve, right? So shutoff valve one and two. So if you don't see the arrow, which can happen, people paint or something like that, you know, the water's going to go this way because this is the first one. So before I get into how this um, RP protects against back pressure, back siphonage, um, and how, how it works internally, I'm going to go ahead and cover what those two things mean, right? Like you're going to ask, right? Well, what are they, right? So just a step back for a second. The only way to get water to move is to change the pressure, right? So water pressure always comes from a, goes from high to low, right? So if it's high, if the water's not going to go up a mountain, right? It's going to come down the mountain, right? Because there's less pressure. Remember we dealt with, with there's more pressure from the, water, the gravitational pull of the water coming down. The same is true in our irrigation system. If we just think about, because we are irrigation people, so we think of a valve, right? When it's closed, there's pressure, right? When it opens, there's no pressure on the other line, right? So the water comes, yeah, let me go. It's going to go faster. It's going to go fast because there's no pressure on that side, right? right? So I always think of it as a teeter-totter, right? It goes like this, water's going to go down like this. Okay. So this reduced pressure principle and any of the backfills, what they do is they actually lower the pressure. So that brings us back to the name, RP, reduced pressure principle. So this keeps the water from being reversed by lowering the pressure to my irrigation side. Right? Does that make sense? Okay, so I'll go over how it does it and everything like that, just so we get that, that, um, that in our heads, okay? So, back pressure is just simply my irrigation side, in our case, and this could be any, depending on the system that it is in place, it will get higher than my water pressure coming in, right? Right, so how could that happen? If we just think about irrigation, how can that happen? We go up a mountain, right? We go up a hill. As soon as that water turns off, whoa, coming back, it could be more, right? If we don't have a backflow, it's just going to suck all that water back, right? Right, so... For example, not taking a backflow into the equation, but we could see this all the time if we have a slope, right? If we don't have check valves at the bottom, we turn the valve off, all that water comes back out out of the low sprinkler heads, right? It just comes out. 
because the pressure is coming back and it's too heavy, the water is too heavy. Okay? So they'll highlight you know, them in the checkbox, but also in the system. So system, higher than supply. Right? So my system side, my irrigation side, it gets higher than what I got coming in, right? That's going to get the water to come back. 